Messi is one of the most skillful players in football, yet keeps it very, very simple with his skill moves. So today we're going to be going over the top five best Messi skills to learn, breaking down these moves so that you can start working on them yourself. That's coming up next. Before we get started, everyone, make sure you get my free ebook, Game Changer, down below. This is a 50 plus page ebook. It's going to show you how to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. Now, without further ado, let's get into the first move that Messi loves to use, starting with number five. Number five is La Croqueta, and you're going to see Messi use this move time and time again. This is going to follow the trend of simple moves that Messi uses, but it works so phenomenally well. Now, if you want to learn how to use the La Croqueta or what situations to use it in, I will link a video down below where I made a video going over all the different situations essentially you can use this move in. And Messi is a big example in that video. But this is such a phenomenal skill that Messi uses to take the ball away from an opponent to beat them, get out of tight spots. It's just such a versatile, simple, yet effective move. Put in the comments, I am skillful, so that you can align to this, get out there and actually start working on these skills. And now we'll move on to number four. Now number four is the regular body feint. This is the common body feint where you drop your shoulder in one direction and then take out the ball in the other direction. Now we're going to go over a few more feints in this video, but this is the most common one that you'll see messy and high level pros use. Now a body feint is any time you use your body to fake in one direction or another or make it look like you're going to do one thing, feint, and then go and do a completely different thing or go in a different direction. But if you want to learn Messi's signature move, this is the one to start with simply moving your foot past the ball or at least dropping your shoulder in one direction and then going out the other way. This is a move I really believe every player should learn to master because it is so incredibly effective. It just works when you do it well and it works at every single level. You can see Messi use this every single game. In fact, watch any high level professional match and you will see this move used multiple times. If you're enjoying this video so far or you're learning something, please like the video and we'll move on to number three. Now number three, I like to call the bait and take. And you will see Messi do this all the time, along with other players, especially if they have a bit of speed or quick feet to them. The bait and take is very, very simple. You simply push the ball in towards the defender at an angle and then take it out the other way or push the ball in one direction and then quickly take it out the other way. This is the move that Messi used on Boateng in that famous clip against Bayern Munich when he beats him, drops him to the deck and then chips the keeper. So I don't really need to explain how effective this move is when you see it being done so effectively against one of the best defenders in the world. The idea here is you really want to plant or root the defender by taking that first touch either away from him or towards him, make him plant, and then once they've planted, um, taking a stance, taking it back out the other way. And you'll see for a lot of defenders, this trips them up. Next, we are going over the messy chop. Now, this is similar to the Ronaldinho chop, where you simply make it look like you're going to do one thing, you're in a standing position, and then you flick your foot, chop it back the other way. Now, this move works so, so well, and I'm assuming Messi learned it from Ronaldinho when he was at Barcelona, and he probably saw how effective it was when Ronaldinho would do it. A lot of times, Messi will wait for a defender to lean in or try and take the ball from him, and then will perform this quick chop by essentially flicking it with the inside of his foot very, very quickly. As you can see in the video examples, it's a little different than a regular chop where you swing your foot quite a bit. It's almost like your foot is already by the ball, it's pretty close to the ball, and then you quickly flick flick it or chop it out the other way with the inside of your foot. I can personally say this move works incredibly well when you do it well, when you time it, and when you're very quick with it. And the number one messy move I want to give you, I just call the delay feint. Now, there is a similar move that I teach all the time called the leg feint. I like to use Latin Ibrahimovic as an example, but this one is slightly different. This is where Messi will lean, almost drag his foot, pause, and then go back out the other way. And you can see him do this all the time, usually with his left foot. He'll drop his shoulder, his right shoulder, almost drag his left foot behind him or low to the ground and then come back around the ball and take it to his left. He'll have that slight delay, which will make the defender believe he's going in the other direction and then he'll take it back. This is a great move to root the defender, to confuse the defender because you've paused to make them go off of their toes onto, the, um, onto their heels. And it's a great way to get them also to dive in because they think like, oh, 
they've delayed, should I go in for the ball now or, or something else? So this is another great one to learn. I see it Messi using this all of the time. You'll see him do this and either flick it out the other way. Sometimes he'll flick it over the defender's foot too. So you can use this where you drag, you delay, and then you flick it just in case the defender sticks out their leg. But this is another incredibly effective body feint. All right, those have been the top five best Messi skills. There are obviously more skills that Messi does, but these are some of the ones I see him use very commonly. And like you'll see from these moves, most of them are very, very, very simple. And I really believe the simple moves when done masterfully are usually the most effective. Let me know in the comments down below which one you're going to learn first or would like to learn first or which one's your favorite. And I will see you in the next video.